you cannot have HBCU dance line without the Southern University Dancing Dolls. Talented women who display the art of dance in front of the most powerful band in the country. It's really black girl magic. I'm underestimated as a dancer because I'm black. Everything has to pop. My strength is being testy right now. All the sweat, the blood, the tears, it's all worth it. It's time to show people who we truly are. Well, of course, they've been dazzling with style and grace since 1969, and now the world will know more about the fabulous dancing dolls at Southern University in a new documentary, Why Not Us Southern Dance. So joining us this morning is Ariel Brooks and Kyrie Walker. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank y'all so much for being here with us. So kind of tell me a little bit about how you feel about the documentary now being out. Well, I feel very excited about it just to get our our life our story out there is is very exciting oh i do hurry um i'm excited as well uh, i think this is a long time coming uh the history of the dolls is really rich so to see the work that we put in behind closed doors finally hitting the big screens is is great but right, what was that process like uh, during filming how long did you guys film for Ooh, the whole, <laughs> the whole semester. semester. The whole yeah, semester. From beginning to end. Mm, yes. Oh, wow. Well, really summer, starting in the summer. Yeah. And how yeah. were you guys, like, approached about doing this documentary? Because I know uh, Chris Paul is involved in that. Um, honestly, it was um, a surprise <laughs> to us. We can't. But, yeah. We, <laughs> they were there. Yep, oh, recording wow. and everything. Um, so, yeah, it just, I mean, we couldn't turn it down. We couldn't say no. Not. Yeah. So, uh, what can people expect when, of course, everybody here in, like, Baton Rouge and Louisiana know about the Dancing Dolls, but what can people expect when they actually watch the documentary? Um, expecting, I would have to say, I would hope they would expect to see the tradition. Mm -hmm. Us continuing to the the tradition and the legacy, I would hope they would expect that. Yeah. Uh, for me, I would just say expect the unexpected. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have a, maybe a, a certain image or just a, a certain way that we do things. And, you know, like I said, we finally get to see like the behind the scenes and the process of everything. So. Absolutely, and I'm born and raised here in Baton Rouge. I've known about the Dancing Dolls all my life. So <laughs> what is it like for you guys to be part of such a legendary dance team? For me, it is beyond, I am beyond proud of myself to actually be in this position as far as, like, being able to call every fabulous Dancing Doll my sister because I knew I wanted to dance in, in college, but I wanted to also have that sisterhood, sisterhood and that bond. So just to be a part of it is really like very uh, heartwarming. Um, for me, this is something I <laughs> really didn't know what I was <laughs> getting into. Um, I knew about the Fabulous Dancing Dolls, of course, but my story kind of um, and my dance journey, um, I was, kind of, I was headed in another direction, but God placed me where he wanted me to be, and I, I don't regret not one thing. I love that. And what do your like, family and friends think about seeing you guys on, on TV, on this, especially on a major platform like ESPN Plus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, my parents are very proud of me. They say it daily, um, <laughs> and they just tell me to keep going. They know, they tell me, you know, keep God first, but they're just... Honestly, it's always saying, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, have you guys got any reactions? I know school is about to start um, mm -hmm. on Monday. So um, are you expecting kind of like any changes of when you guys go on campus, knowing people have seen you? Of course, they've probably seen you on campus, mm -hmm. but being that it's on a, a bigger platform, are you expecting any, any changes? Uh say no. I mean, the most they'll probably say is like, hey, I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the episode last night or something like that, but um, mm, probably not. It's like, yeah. Same old, same old. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, everybody's, everybody's like, you're all there for school. So yeah. It's like, it's all the same thing. It's like, we're all here for, for the same for the same thing. But mm -hmm. ladies, thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. I, I know I'll be watching for sure. If not today, this weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you want to tune in, that's on ESPN Plus if you do have that streaming service. Uh, so you can catch the fabulous Dancing Dolls and learn more about the history and tradition.